First, what do you mean by Bernoulli triangle? It's the one that appeared in the first distribution. Either you have a success or a failure. So P is the probability of success and Y minus P is probability of failure. So we have an experience of something that is either success or a failure. Now, let's assume we have a series of Bernoulli trial of N Bernoulli trials. Okay, and each time we have either success or a failure. Um, let's x denote number of successes. N Bernoulli trials. Okay, so this number can be, we try n times, so we can have zero successes, one success, and so on and so on, and maximum number is n, each time success. Okay, so x can be zero, one, two, and so on, until n. This is what x can be equal to. Now, what's the probability that the random variable we have small k? This is the following thing. n choose k, p to power k, q to power n minus k, where q is 1 minus p. Okay. N choose K is the Newton symbol, we spoke about it at the beginning, um, when we had combinatorics. So we have binomial distribution. So we say random variable X has binomial distribution with parameters N and P. Okay, it means we have series of N Bernoulli trials, each case totally independent trials, and each case probability of success is P. And of failure, of course, is 1 minus P. Okay? That's the notation. Okay, now, what's the expected value? Expected value equals N times P. And variance is NPQ. Okay, I think this is worth remembering. Okay, as binomial distribution, the, the most characteristic uh, thing. Okay, and let's solve the following problem. Uh, example. There are six questions from A to D, A, B, C, D, so four choices uh, for each question. There are six questions in the exam. And it so happens that John knows nothing. Okay, but of course he wants to pass the exam. <laughs> but in order to pass, you have to overcome 50%. So you have to, you must have at least four good answers. Because three good answers is only 50. It's not over 50. Okay, so what are the chances John will pass? Okay, let's pose several questions. Find probability. means four or more.
four or more good answers. Second, all answers bad. And third, all answers good. Okay, so let's start with passing. Okay, probability that x will be greater equal 4 is the following. It's probability that x will be equal to 4 plus probability that x will be equal to 5 okay, plus probability that x will be equal to 6. Okay, so let's substitute it to the formula. So this is 6. Choose 4. So uh, what is the P? P is 0, 25. Q is 0, 75. So we have 0, 25 to power 4 plus times 0, 75 to power 2 plus 6 choose 5, 0, 25 to power 5 times 0, 75 to power 1 plus 6 to 6, 0, 25 to power 6, and the other is to 0, so it doesn't appear at all. So this is 0, 0, 32, plus 0, 0, 0, 4, plus 0, 0, 0, 2. So this is really very, very little. This is um, this is less than zero zero four. This is less than four percent. So he's really very, very in a bad position. Okay, all answer is good. Uh, all answer is bad. What's the probability? It means probability x. The number of successes is zero, okay? Because bad means failure. So this is S, choose zero, zero twenty-five to power zero, zero seventy-five to power six times. And Zero eighteen. So this is about twenty percent. And see what's the probability that all answers are good. Probability that all answers are good. It means x equals to six. So we have six to six. Zero twenty-five to power six times zero seventy-five to power zero. We already had this. This is zero, 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 two. So this is two percent only. So it's really very hard to be master if you if you know nothing. Of course. Okay. Now let's have a look at the uh, this particular distribution in this case. Um, what's the distribution of probabilities? The random variable can have values 0, 1, 2, and 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and that's it. And for p equals 0, this is 0, 18. So we have a dot. For p equals 1, it is about 0, 35. So this is much higher. Or two is about zero thirty, zero three, and then it quickly goes down. Okay, so that's the distribution. So what can you see? The most, the highest probability is at one. The most probable situation is that he will answer well only one question. Also two questions is 
quite possible. But then the rest is less possible. Okay, so we can see the graph is kind of right skewed. Of course, if the P was, say, 50-50, then probably the graph would be like that. Okay, for P equals 0, 0,5, if P was, say, 0, 0,8, it means with high probability of success, those numbers would be more probable. Okay, so we would have the uh, graph left skewed in that case. Okay. And what was the expected value here? The thing that we could um, find expected value would be 6 times 0 0.25. So 1.5. So this expected value was 1.5. So if you go to... So what's the conclusion? If you go to an exam and you have six questions and you, ha you know nothing on the topic, then you can expect 1.5 good answers. Okay. So.